Hi, I'm Minda Hill. I'm one of the oncology nurse navigators. Part of my role is to educate you and what to expect with your chemotherapy. When you receive a diagnosis of cancer, you will sit down with your provider and they will talk about treatment options. Treatment for certain cancers includes the administration of chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is a systemic treatment, which means it flows through your body, through your bloodstream, and fights rapidly growing cancer cells. Chemotherapy is given in a variety of different ways. It can be given as an oral pill, intravenously or IV, or by injection. Chemotherapy is usually given in cycles, which means there's a treatment period and a rest period. For example, if you have a 28-day cycle, you may have three weeks of treatment and then one week of rest. Chemotherapy can be given alone or given in combination of other treatments, such as surgery, radiation, or immunotherapy. The number of cycles you receive depends on your diagnosis and is determined by your care team. At Simmons Cancer Center, we have four infusion clinics where patients can receive treatment. Dallas, Richardson Plano, Moncrief and Fort Worth, and Redbird. Your care team will work with you to coordinate appointments at any of these locations based on availability, treatment type, and the duration of your treatment. All infusion nurses who give chemotherapy are highly trained and certified. All sites are open Monday through Friday, and the infusion clinic in the Cancer Care Outpatient Building provides weekend services. All infusion sites have private rooms that are equipped with amenities to ensure that you are comfortable throughout your infusion. We have a reclining chair, complimentary Wi-Fi, and a smart TV. We encourage that you bring books, snacks, a blanket to keep you warm, or anything that makes you feel more comfortable throughout your treatment. At our Dallas location, you can order snacks and meals through our Simmons Bistro to be delivered to your room. For shorter infusions, you may be seated in a chair in an open area inside the infusion clinic. For your first chemotherapy treatment, we recommend securing assistance with transportation. For future treatments, depending on the medications you receive and how you respond to them and your overall health, you may be able to drive yourself. You may receive a central line that is inserted into a large vein in your chest or in your arm called a metaport or a pick line. This is used to give medications or take blood samples and can be in place for weeks to months. If your treatment does not require a central line, a nurse will place an intravenous catheter in your hand or your arm, and this will be removed at the end of your infusion. The amount of time needed for your treatment varies for each person and depends on your treatment plan. Your care team will give you an overall idea of the duration of treatment. Each infusion visit consists of a lab draw and verification of your blood test results, an assessment done by an infusion nurse, and verification of treatment orders signed by your provider. Once this process is completed, the pharmacy can begin preparation of the medications. It takes about 30 minutes for your medication to be prepared by the pharmacist through their verification process. Certain medications need to be thawed or dissolved. During this time, you may receive hydration and other medications. Once the chemotherapy is dispensed, two nurses will verify the medication independently prior to starting the infusion. You may be able to decrease your wait time by getting your labs done up to three days prior to your chemotherapy appointment. You can get your labs done at any UT Southwestern location. If you choose to have treatment at a Redbird location, you will be required to get labs a day prior. You will coordinate your appointments with your care team in advance. Thank you for watching. To learn more about chemotherapy and what to expect, please watch our video about common side effects.